We all use crude oil, gas, and turf as energy source. We cut down forest trees. We mine, dig from the deepest part of the earth to have what we want. And eventually, in 20th century, it was revealed that these energy sources are not endless. They are limited. Besides, we do damage, harm, and pollute the earth environment that we live in. The consequence is called the global warming, one of the biggest issues of current ages. All these kind of activities made us parasitic creatures. We people use energetic resources of earth to increase our well-being quality, to make our life easier, and at the same time, we try to save private energy of our bodies. So people start to think about alternative ways. First wind, then secondly water, and other types. At this right moment, the most possible future alternative energy source is known as solar energy. For example, if the solar panels were located all over the surface of Spain's territory, we would be able to provide electricity for the whole globe. It's easy to imagine, right? You probably think in some years the globe would be covered by solar panels, but Based on the statistics, the usage of renewable energy will be increased only 10 times by the year of 2030. Of course, having solar panels of size of Spain's territory can solve enormous amount of problems. The main ones are environmental pollution, the risk of global warming, the endless thoughts of seeking unlimited energy sources. And we have an interesting question then, why we did not solve this problem so far? Let me explain. The energy gained from solar circle is great, but it has drawbacks, such as solar energy panels occupy large shapes. Solar panels reflect out large amount of sunlight. Solar panels are easy to become dusty and dirty. Moreover, they are very easily breakable. All these disadvantages influence and decrease the effectiveness of panels down to about 20%. The result is you don't see solar panels everywhere. Our young team of enthusiasts gathered together for a beer and while drinking, we found a solution to these drawbacks. And unlike solar panels, we created a globe-shaped mechanism. By the help of lenses, sunlight is centralized inside a globular sphere, where the beam of light reflects from one panel to another. As you see, this globular sphere traps the photons of sunlight. So by this, we solve one of the main issues of flat solar panels, reflection of light. As concerns the occupied place, the globe-shaped panels allow us to lower it down to 1.5 times. For example, if one meter square flat solar panels carry 72 amount of batteries and generate 200 watt energy, our system consists of nine globes, carries 108 batteries and generate 300 watt energy. Moreover, every globe consists of stable material that protects batteries from damaging. Every globe is hermetic, which prevents pollution and dirtiness of batteries placed inside each globe. So comparing with flat solar panels, the effectiveness of this system is increased up to 40%. And the occupied place is reduced down to 1.5 times. Sun is the hugest donor of energy on Earth, and we act as the recipients of the provided. Let's just think how to use it more efficiently in order to endorse the recovery of our planet. Our body increases its temperature to react against microorganisms, then use the resources of our own organism, releasing substances which cause that high temperature, which makes them to be parasites. Having this in mind, same system work for the planet to have immunity against the humanity, the parasites of Earth. Let's not act like poisonous parasites and be the creatures without which the Earth could not exist. Thank you.